Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model called Tulu 3405B model, which is a fine-tuned version of the Llama 3.1405B model. It beats DeepSeek V3 and GPT-40 in benchmarks, or so it claims. It has fully open weights and also provides open training recipes about how they trained the model and everything else as well. They trained it with reinforcement learning from verifiable rewards, which is a kind of version of RLHF, and it has been a hot topic because of DeepSeek and how they made the model perform significantly better with that. Anyway, the model shows a consistent edge over DeepSeek V3 in most of the benchmarks, which you can have a look at here. The things actually look good. Although DeepSeek V3 is a mixture of experts and only infers about 32 billion parameters, this is a chunky model that has about 405 billion parameters, which is a little higher in inference costs. Now, the model is available on their chat platform for free, which is great. You can also host it locally if needed, and there are also smaller versions of the model available if needed. The smaller versions are also available on a Llama, so that's great. So, let's test it out and see how well it performs. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well, with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10, and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now let's come back to the video. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, Tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And this is the correct answer. So, this is fully correct. Let's mark this as a pass. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, so here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is not a pass. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And this is also not correct at all. So, let's mark this a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and it's correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? 
the answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's give this a pass. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it as a pass as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, it first gave me the equation, which I asked it to solve and give me a rounded number. Here's the answer, which is correct. Let's mark it as a pass as well. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and if we run it, you can see that this works pretty well. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, it also works well and produces the correct sound. So, this is a pass. The next one is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, it looks good and is usable. Let's mark it as a pass as well. The next one is, create me a 3D circle that moves and loops endlessly in 3D space using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, then this works fine, although still not as good as DeepSeek V3. So, let's keep this a pass. Now the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the code. Let's copy and run it. Okay, this also works well. So, this is also a pass. Now, this is the final chart. So, the model performs pretty well. It's not as good as DeepSeek V3, but still it's a good model nonetheless, and its open weights make it even better and cooler to use. It's pretty good at some things, and it lacks in some places, where Llama 3.1405b was not trained as much in the first place. So, there's that. I hope they post-train the DeepSeek V3 model, and maybe we can get even greater results. RLHF is really great, and it just works so well these days, as we saw in DeepSeq R1 and V3. So that's great. Being open weights is a plus, and you can use it anywhere you want. Their chat interface is also good to use the model, although they don't have their own API yet. So, you'll have to run it on something like GLHF or something, and then use it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.